Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are going to be taking uh, possibly one last look here at Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Currently up to 91% and playing on wild mode. Yes, the Ultimate Cup is underway, and uh, we will be getting to that momentarily. But first, um, so I've been a little busy here, and uh, I got pretty much all of the figures that I can currently get. Um, oops. Um, hang on. So, Cherry. Tangerine, Melon, Star Coin, Green Star, Red Star, Blue Star. Uh, I think these ones here are unlocked through performing certain objects, uh, certain objectives rather. I have the tulip and the star block here. Crab, fish, steak, windmill switch. Cup of juice. Sure, it's not pop at all. Hamburger, order fries, order ta uh, takoyaki, shortcake, chocolate bar, donut, macaron. Or you have cake. Pumpkin, ear of corn, tin of fish. Animal sand sculpture. Mookie, what a happy little ape! Smile and dance, Mookie. Watch him swing your, uh, watch him swing and throw his little hammer around. You can tell he's happy to see you. Just look at that smile. Huh? That's not a smile? He's trying to scare us. Well, the, it's working now. Yikes! Unfriendly fronds, tropic woods, fresh ocean air, and warm sunlight help tropic woods grow big and strong. Its giant coconuts will cause big explosions after they drop. It has non-exploded coconuts too, and they're supposed to be delicious. Few have ever tasted them, but many have tried. Boat. Nocodile. This robust swimmer has a powerful jaw. It floats on the water's surface, watching and waiting for its prey. Its hide is as tough as armor, so you'll need something bigger than a copy ability to take it down. You think mouthful mode would do the trick? Rabiru and O-Rabiru. The little one, that's Rabiru. The, uh, the big one, that's O-Rabiru. The O is for, oh my gosh, look at how high they can jump. Sure. Uh, try try to try not to be uh, under one when they when they land. Their fellow critters like to pet them because they're so fluffy. Don't touch the tail; they hate that. Toy hammer. Sure, this may be the cutest bonk to ever bonk a bonk, but this is no plaything. It has rapid, continuous attacks with enough power to hammer stakes and crush enemies. Move this over here. I can have a better view of the chat. Surprise alien board. Captured roulette. Lost ducklings. Chakram cutter. You can dual wield cutters. Whoa! Sling both chakrams forward to slash a wide area in front of you. It's fun to watch them fly as long as you're doing the throwing. Volcano fire. Boom. Whoosh. This volcano is erupting. Harness the power of geothermal energy to spew lava in front of you. Blaze through enemies and make them feel the heat. Crash. Danger. Danger. This ability makes the biggest boom of all. You can hold down the button to make it even bigger. Nothing will escape that blast. Boosh. And the spaceship Wendaria. As long as with its mouthful mode that we already had. And that is all of the volume uh, two statuettes here. Volume three, we have omelet, cup of coffee, pudding, um, energy drink, which I will always call pep brew, life up, attack boost, speed boost, steak, plate of fried eggs, rice ball, 
Got a vice screen. Speakers, apparently. Nail, breakable block. Lizard, too bad Zuzia is not here. Glider Arch. Uh, Primal Woofy. Original Wasteland is the birthplace of the Beast Pack, so it's no wonder that the Woofies found, uh, found there are more wild than their far-off cousins. They're more aggressive in every, in every way, from their bark to their bite. Their primal ancestors must be pleased. Mumbies. Totenga. Snacker. I should say Snacker. This ravenous reptile, I'm not going to do that. This ravenous reptile can swallow its enemies whole. Once it spots prey, it'll slither after it as swift as it can. Some of the things it tries to swallow seem unreason unreasonably large, but its stretchy body allows it to gulp them down. Wait, why does that sound familiar? Pacto? Poison Crocum. Poison Crocum is a giant frog covered in icky, sticky poison. The gunk covering his body protects it from all attacks, but a quick splash of water will wash it clean to reveal a beautiful and vulnerable blue hide. It must have a great skincare routine. And made Kirby, and made Elphalan, and made Dan's partner. All part of the silly Dello fight. Speaking of. Oh, geez. Speaking of which. Armor-plated prancer Silly Dillo. Silly Dillo is an, an incredible dancer, as long as the dance involves spinning. It's a nocturnal creature, so it can see quite well in the dark. It seems to have orders from its boss to find something important, but all, but all it brings home is junk. What was it supposed to find again? Something small and floaty? Hmm. And since we accidentally selected it here, his illusionary nemesis, nemesis Phantom King DDD, this DDD devil is made of powerful psychic energy. It's an illusion of the king based on memories of his embarrassing turn under IDF-86's control, forced to work for a Leon guard and capture Elphalin. It has no memory of Kirby or the adventures they've shared. It's little more than a haughty hollow husk. Water Balloon Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the Mysterious Mouthful Mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff a huge amount of water in his, into his mouth. Fill yourself up at a water pipe. Wobble over to a pack, uh, patch of mulk. Mulk? Muck? And spray it away to clear a path forward. Thanks for cleaning up. There is said water pipe. Uh, also, the Scissor Lift and Scissor Lift Mouth Kirby. Now he can stuff an entire Scissor Lift into his mouth. Raise and lower yourself to reach items and dodge enemy attacks. You can also spit the lift out while extended to reach the top of tall platforms. And uh, over here, there are five more. Sleep. Just one more minute, please. Oh, come on. I'm too sleepy. Just let me recover some health with a bit of rest. Pencil drill. This drill of illusion is mighty and graphite -y. Sure. <laughs> it's not ideal for writing, but you can use it uh, to launch out of the ground and shoot out pencil rockets. Now that's the right stuff. <laughs> Frosty ice. Frosty ice gives you chilling powers and a really cute hat. Uh, blow out the uh, blow out freezing blast of air and create a line of snowmen. Aw, oh, they all have Frosty's face. He must be so proud. I don't know. He still wants to kill us. So, dragon fire. Become a legendary monster with the power of a dragon. Spew fire like a flamethrower. Jump, attack, and glide through the sky. You cannot do all sorts of dragony stuff. And vending mouth Kirby. Now he can stuff an entire vending machine into his mouth. Fire soda cans forward to attack enemies and blast through barriers. Your ammo is limited, so keep an eye out for any cans that can be picked back up. Also, that'll restore health. And that is all of the figurines for Volume 3. Volume 4, Meta Knight Sword. The Meta Knight Sword has a bunch of cool attacks, just like its namesake. Sword slide, jump, and, and attack to use upper caliber. With full health, you'll even sling crescent shots. Wild Hammer. This heavy, ha this hefty hammer is made from super tough stone. 
It's too heavy for quick hits, but each powerful swing will deal explosive damage. You'll even crack the ground itself. Buzzsaw Cutter. What's the buzz, cuz? This Cutter Evolution has increased power and flying distance. It'll also ricochet off walls, so aim carefully to send it extra far. Clink, clank, buzz. Homing Bomb. Toss a homing bomb, then watch it get to work. It'll patrol the area until it spots an enemy, then race toward them and explode. Chain bombs together to corner your foes. There's an option to display in house, and I think I'm going to do that for uh, for this figure, considering how useful it's been at the uh, no damage runs. A big rig. Also the mouthful mode that we've already seen. Napping Beast. The beast pack live, live among, uh, lives among the remnants of a civilization that left this world far behind. They may not know how to use everything they find, but they always enjoy the simple pleasures, like the scent of pine that lingers on this Woofie's favorite napping spot. A duel with Meta Knight. Meta Knight arrived in the New World shortly before Kirby. He did some early scouting and reached as far as the snowy north before deciding to return and protect the town. Now he keeps watch for beastly invaders from his perch by the Coliseum. He's battled Goromondo 30 times and won every bout. Destined Rivals. Planet Pop Star's Destined Rivals. That's how King DDD usually describes this special relationship, so he was crestfallen when he arrived in the New World and couldn't find Kirby. By the time they finally met, DDD had changed from friendly rival to menace. Adventure Together. Bandana Waddle Dee and Elphalan have joined Kirby's victory dance. Kirby's dancing is cute and carefree, but his singing voice is super powerful. Let's all sing along with him next time. Woohoo! Great job, Kirby. Meow meow. Wake up, Leon. The soul fragments collected by Kirby and Claroline have been restored. Have been returned to their owner, Leon Gar. Now restored as Leon, is free of IDF eighty six's corrupting mind control. The world is in good pause once again. Piece of Leon's soul. After their fight with Kirby, IDF-86's body was destroyed, but their powerful mind survived. They fled to the isolated isles of their own dreams and brought Leongar with them. To prepare this new vessel, they cast out Leongar's soul, uh, shattering and scattering it throughout the realm of Forgo dreams. Fluttering Dream Eater Morpho Knight the fluttering fiend that casts judgment upon the final battles is drawn to, uh, toward the isolated isles of Forgo Dreams. There it feasts on the most powerful soul it finds and takes the fearsome form of a scarlet-clad knight. Let the most challenging battle of this new world begin. Illusory Primal Nemesis Phantom Forgo DDD Forgo DDD was formed when Leongar gave the already controlled king a mask to further cloud his mind. He was then tasked with guarding the only entrance to Lab Discoverer. This phantom copy, based on memories of his terrifying turn, is, is a somehow even stronger and more dangerous than the original. Armor-plated illusion, Phantom Silly Dillo. Formed from uh, strong psychic energy and modeled on specific memories of his role in the real world, this phantom copy of Silly Dillo will forever wander Forgo dreams, searching high and low for Elflin and Kirby, at least his dance moves are still impressive. Well, impressive as insofar as they hurt. His primal nemesis, Forgo DDD. The, the foul fiend standing guard at the bottom of the Red Gar volcano was King DDD again. He calmed back down after he removed his menacing mask. So why did he kidnap Elphalan? He said he was being controlled even before some, some strange beast put that mask on him. Invasive species, Fecto Forgo, larva. When IDF-86 arrived, it began attacking all of the native wildlife. The creature was captured soon after and turned into a test subject. The native inhabitants used it to create tech beyond their wildest dreams. They eventually used that tech to leave the planet altogether, but IDF-86 remained forgotten and fractured. Invasive species, Fecto Forgo. The invading species, alone and incomplete without Elphalan, was trapped in the internal capsule. Their only refuge was the realm of their dreams. Those dreams spread powerful waves of psychic energy all over the world, slowly taking control of the animals they reached. Escape would require more energy. 
I think that's all of them. I mean, we still have a few left to find. But, um... We did take care of most of them here. Um... The site's check and isn't confirmed, but it turns out 86 may sound like HAL in Japanese. So that may be the reason it is 86. Oh, I, IDF 86. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Ah, do. Maybe. Um, it makes sense, anyway. So another thing is uh, since we don't need to spend money on uh, on the gacha machines anymore, at least not until we probably clear Ultimate Cup, I went ahead and put uh, 999 coins in here and figured I'd wait until we start streaming again to put in the last one. You toss star coins into the guitar case. Now the band can perform on a nicer stage and play new songs. Oh, apparently there's multiple levels of this. So let's go ahead and uh, disperse some more here. If I need more coins, I'll just do the fishing game for a little while. Ooh, fancy. Now the band can perform on an incredible stage and play even more new songs. Oh my gosh, look Kirby, the Deadly Dees gave us a special figure to thank us for supporting them. That's uh, one of the Volume 4 ones, too. The Deedly Dees. It's the local 4D band, the Deedly Dees. They love to jam in front of a crowd and start each request off with a wah wah. Let's go. Band meetings at the cafe can get heated due to their different musical tastes, but when the tunes kick in, they fall perfectly in sync. So I also found a few. Um, present codes. And I will show you where I found those. So one of them, the first one that I found, was right up here. If I can press the right button. Hey, look at this! There's a cone hidden here. Brawling Coliseum. Is this a hidden present code? Um, the second one I found was just over here, I believe. Here we go. Huh? There's something written here. Kirby the Gourmet. Is this a hidden present code? And the last one, that I, at least that I found, there might still be some more was over in the theater. Ooh, there's a strange message in this pamphlet. Kirby story. This must be the hidden present code. So since we're here, let's also talk to this Waddle Dee. Welcome to Waddle Dee Cinema. You can watch all kinds of movies here. Are you wondering why we built the cinema so soon? Well, it's because entertainment's important. So, which movie do you want to watch, Kirby? And yeah, we just get the option to watch all of the cutscenes all over again. Of which I believe we've unlocked almost all of them. And pretty much the only ones that we haven't unlocked 
are ones for like beating the ultimate cup maybe and uh getting a hundred percent. Feel free to stop in any time. So let's go turn in those present codes. Uh which is over here, right. Do do do. So, first one, drawing, hollow, CM. We're probably actually going to have to collect that present before we, uh... Oh! Hold on a sec, Kirby. I have one, one other present to deliver to you, directly this time. I want to thank you for using Wall of Delivery so often, so here's a special figure just for you. Ah, and that'll clear off, uh, Volume 1, actually. Delivery Waddle D. This dutiful Delivery D works for Waddle D liveries in town. He gets helpful items to your doorstep with blinding speed. Kirby's handwriting makes it hard to read the present code sometimes, but this kind soul approves the orders anyway. First upgrade gives you all the main game songs, while the second one gives you the post game songs. Nice. We got some coins and a uh, attack boost. Go ahead and spend that immediately, actually. It will not start depleting until we're in a combat situation. And Kirby. V or May that gives us oh, a rare stone and a uh, caramel cake. And finally, the shortest one. Kirby. Story. The Kirby story. And we get some coins. All right, so there is nothing left for us to do here other than admire the fact that, wait. Oh, we're still missing two. Which two are we missing? We're probably, probably one of them is the cafe. Probably this one is the cafe. What's this one though? Because I, I will show one thing off to people who might not be aware here. Wait a minute. You have something to say. 
When the Wallabies were first being captured, I thought I would end up all alone again. But then I met you, Kirby, and you worked so hard to save anyone to save everyone and rebuild this town. Thank you, Kirby. Thank you so much. Oh. You're welcome. But yeah, if I try to turn the crank, you've collected all currently available figures from Volume 1. So the game is nice enough to tell you, hey, there is nothing else to get here. And um, spending more money on this right now is not going to get you anything. But uh, yeah. There's really only one thing left to do. This game is amazingly polite, right? And we have done the Mennonite Cup. It's time to do the Ultimate Cup. And uh, 12 battles in this one. Let's do it. Shoom. And I guess that's going to be the shtick, huh? One of the abilities here is always going to be deep sleep. <sighs> it's going to make us get a uh, sword anyway. Just starting right off with Mennonite. No, oh, he's angry now. Oh, jeez. Ow. That was almost flawless. Ow, ow, ow. Get down here. There we go. Oh, no, it's giving me two different abilities this time. I just happened to draw uh, the deep sleep last time. Which, honestly, getting deep sleep here, not really that bad. Because, like, that means that I can uh, forego using my Max and Tomatoes and restore health. Unless, of course... The game says no. Here we go, Gormando. Well, that was a bit of a pushover. Games game doesn't say no unless they patch it later. And actually, I restored all of my health using the Morpho Knight Sword, so there we go. Uh, looks like we are fighting Claraline.
I mean, it definitely helps that we have that attack boost. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So we are fighting mini bosses. All right. And by fighting mini bosses, I mean <laughs> just kind of destroying them before they even get a chance to attack. That was comical, honestly. This isn't a fight, this is a massacre. Yeah, no kidding. More mini bosses. Here we go. So the humanity. I actually got too close to Wild Bonkers there and he got a hit off on me. This is just silly. Like I I'm feeling kinda bad. Okay. This might not be as much of a massacre. Especially since there is a bit of a wait period for for uh silly dillo here. And the double damage has expired. Wow, you weren't even trying there. Well, what the hell was that? There we go. So things should be getting a little more challenging with uh, the next fights. Um, looks like uh, is... which DD is that? Oh, I guess we'll find out. It's the first one, alright. Oh, crap. All right, normal fighting it is. Yeah, you too, buddy. I was going to use my cake. <laughs> Looks like I won that melee fight. Um, five fights left, six tomatoes left. Yeah, I'm, uh, 
I'm down with uh, grabbing one. And there we go. Yeah, sword and hammer are going to be like massively overpowered. So it looks like we're going up, going up against Forgo DDD this time. So double hammer against double hammer. And actually, you know what? Oops. I'm going to go ahead and turn Auto Swallow back on. I figure in, uh, in most battle situations, uh, like in, in most like field situations, I guess, um, having uh, auto swallow off can be useful. But then if we start getting into um, boss fights, then we probably want to turn it on. Uh, I forget who that is. I'm going to take the sword. Is that Leongar? It is. All right. Wait, where did it go? Oh, there we go. Right. I keep getting hit by this. Want to charge at me? Ah. Get him. 
game was struggling there for a second. Ooh. I guess I could have used sleep there, but whatever. Oh, we're, we're fighting Facto Fargo. Cool. Ow. I'm being impatient here is the problem. There we go. Free health restore? Can't argue with that. Let's go fight um, Fargo's final form. Fecto Alphalus. Ow. Ah. Come at me, bro. Getting fired up. Ah. Got him. There we go. That's the ultimate cup done. Eleven seventeen sixty seven. Whoa! Our beloved pink puffball is the last fighter standing. Kirby wins. Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's your hard won reward. 1500 star coins and a rare stone and a special figure.
ultimate life form, Fecto Alphalus. The Alphalan we first met was born from a small, compassionate soul that hid behind greater, invasive ambitions. Without a soul to temper its power, the creature's spatial te teleportation ability ran amok, opening mysterious vortices left and right. Now that they're whole again, they're already planning their next invasion. Of course, we're not done yet. Ready for the ultimate test of skill? You can now enter the ultimate cup, Z, in the Coliseum. To enter the ultimate cup, Z, visit the booth in front of the Coliseum. Good luck. Good luck. You'll need it. Think what I'm gonna do. Let's grab sleep here. See if we can get a free buff out of that. See what we get. If we do it again, can we get a different, like, do buff stack? Like, not necessarily like getting 400, but getting 200 and double health. Yes, all right. All right, I might want to actually, you know, pick up an ability. Get my sword back. They also stack in time. That is interesting. Oh yeah, we are going to need as much support as we can muster here. Because I'm going to guess that this is not gonna go this is not gonna be easy at all. Um, I'm going to grab another attack boost. Yeah, and it does, uh, it does stack in time. Stack up to five. Interesting. I'm going to grab three of each. Oh yeah, stack up to five at once. I never noticed that. <laughs> I'm going to grab three of each and then also have a reserve life up. Noom. It's the first time we have uh, extra speed here, so. Here we go. The ultimate cup. Z. Ultimate, ultimate cup. Ultimate cup. Z. Kirby, I should warn you about the ultimate cup. Z. The ultimate cup. Z takes place in some other realm where you'll face intense battles with scary foes. I can't follow you into that arena, and worse than that, I can't commentate over your battles. But I know you'll survive. No, I know you'll win. And after all, you just saved this entire world. Let's do it. Okay, so from, 
going forward, we only have small tomatoes and one ability change. That's a good question, Tyrion. Unfortunately, Florina is still as much of a joke as uh, as before. Ow. Ow. All right, Phantom DDD, his illusory nemesis. Rawr. That went pretty well, I think. On we go. Looks like the strategy here is just overpower everything. <laughs> wow, look at that. This is absurd. weather dance and then uh there we go this game has the easiest arena and true arena that you i'm so far going to agree with you and even if I wasn't overpowered right now, it doesn't change the fact that Morpho Knight Sword and uh, Mass DDD Hammer are just so powerful in this game. <laughs>
more mini bosses. I would say largely pointless because you could have just a bad run. Hey, Jewel. We're just absolutely wrecking crap right now. Coraline is next. And this these are supposed to be the hard fights. Ow. Yeah, I think I might top up after this, uh, after this fight here. Looks like we're fighting Meta Knight. I already have a sword. Or maybe we're fighting Morpho Knight. Nope, we're fighting Illusory Meta Knight, apparently. The Lone Illusion, Phantom Meta Knight, who we're meeting for the first time, technically. The only fight where having a sword will not put you at a, you know, massive advantage. Because the only other option is to have nothing, which will put you at a massive disadvantage. Oh, jeez. Oh, multiple rounds. All right. Oh, uh, ow, 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 ow. I saw two Meta Knights there. I must have hit the wrong one. Whoa, what the? What the crap was that? I'd be surprised if Meta Knight does that thing it does in one of the previous games. I am not sure to what you're referring. I shall grab two. Uh, so, Phantom Forgo DD? Yep. Rawr. Yangi. Oh, mama.
There we go. If you wait long enough without grabbing the sword, he just goes down and kicks the sword away. I don't remember that. What game was that? I actually, I think he does. I think that happens in Kirby's Adventure. It he doesn't really kick it away though. He, it just kind of disappears. I think. It might be a couple of other games too, but I honestly don't remember. But why wouldn't you want the sword? Because holy crap. Angie possessed kitty. I was hoping to dodge through him, but I guess that didn't work. There we go. And still 153 uh, time units for the power-ups. Two more fights. Here comes Morpho Knight. Kicks it in Star Allies. That was probably a bad idea. Oh geez, the camera's doing the thing again. Dang it. Kirby grabbed the thing. No! I lost the sword.
I thought I would get a chance to get it. Nope. Oh, I got the sword. Never mind. I have the sword. It's fine. What the hell is that? I guess it's, uh, Elflin's, like, true ultimate form? Maybe because the sword was on the field, it gave it back to me? It's the only thing I can think of. Species born of chaos. Chaos Elphilus. Species born of chaos, just like Jewel. Unfortunately, our power boost is uh, ending here. We fortunately still do have our uh, extra health. So we are not without our advantages here, but Oh, that's, that's pleasant. Oh, geez. This game is awfully polite, isn't it? You know what, Th this might not be as challenging as I thought it would be, but honestly I'm still having fun. Oh dear, what is this? I mean, there's also this boss that has not happened for the entire rest of the game. Oh geez. Yeah, he does restore health out of that. The problem is I had done the uh the morpho sword. So uh that actually slows me down. So I wasn't able to get everything. But I do understand the concepts, like you need to You basically need to hit all of the cocoons before the energy beam hits uh, Chaos Alphalus. Whoa, geez.
Oh. Alright. That's all we're doing. Oh, didn't notice that was happening. Facing the wrong way. Like this game might be a lot more polite than some of the, the previous games, like the previous platformer games in the main line. But this is still challenging. Like you you can't come into this unprepared. There we go. Oh, another phase. Okay. Or maybe I just need to hit this. Mouthful? What is this? Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? This is not done, is it? What is this? Oh, I guess I should have expected a boss like this. Okay, sure. I get that quick. Welcome to Orb. I feel like we keep ending up here. Ow. What is this? Come on. Oh, more things are happening. Uh I feel like I needed to get on top of that. Oh, it's not arranged like this for nothing, right? I need to get away, I think. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to live. Uh, all the bouncing ball. Okay. Oh no, not this again.
Nope. Ah, freaking hell. I was trying to, to do a, a dodge away, but I got caught. I'm not going to win this. I'm going to do my damnedest to win this, but uh, I feel like I've taken too many hits. Crap. Nope, that didn't work. Pretty much at this point, one more hit and I'm done. Okay, at this point, one more hit and I'm done. Oh my goodness. There it is. All right, well, good night, uh, Tyrion. Retry? Huh, okay. Only problem is this time I don't. Like, the only support that I have is my amiibo. And I don't know that I want to use my amiibo unless I know that I'm, you know, doing particularly well. In phase two.
At least I have a much better idea of what Chaos Alphalos does. No, I lost my sword. Oh, that's different. Not sure how I, how I uh, blocked that one, but okay. I see you back there. I see you there, Billy. Okay, phase two done. Now I just have to not mess up the mouthful. Because I imagine if I do, that's probably going to hurt like pretty much everything. Yeah, I was trying to see like if attacking all of the other ones was uh was the trick, but apparently not. I don't know how many attempts I'm going to be able to get in, in uh, for this, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so just run away for that. Okay, this again. Okay, I can actually destroy those things and they stop beaming. All right, I'm gonna to need to use my uh, my amiibo. I'm going to uh, gonna go full in for this one.
Kirby, you're facing the wrong way. Ball the bouncing ball. Eager Girk. Ah. I can destroy those, but I still have to be careful because they sure can destroy me. Ow. Ah. I was stuck in mid-attack animation. Dang it. Ah. It's a disadvantage with being too close to him. Need to get that quick. A fire attack again. I think this is phase four, by the way. Got it. Second one. Other way. I think I need to at least be up to three, and then I can just kind of float the rest. Bouncing ball. Lasers. I can't hit you over there. Black hole. Flame attack. All I need to do is survive this, I think. This is not done yet, but it can be. Yeah! <laughs> I had to retry, but hey, that fight was not trivial by any means. Even if I had been like overpowered for it, like just, you gotta learn that fight in order to be able to do it. What's this?
That was awful. I'm going to have a little bit of transformation here. Or no, I'm just going to absorb the energy. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Oh. <laughs> it did record the fact that I used an amiibo and that I used every single power up. You know what? I don't care. If the game's going to let me have it, Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby! Here's your hard-won reward. 2,500 coins, 3 rare stones, and a special favor. Species Born of Chaos, Chaos, Elphilus. A unique convergence of elements, from native beast souls to ethereal butterfly, gave a stubborn soul one last chance at revenge. This new creation, driven by pure chaos, was defeated by the bright light of Kirby's hope. The last bit of life that remained willingly returned to Elphalan. At last, two became one. Kirby, you're amazing! Do you realize that you've conquered all of the Coliseum tournaments? To honor your landmark achievement in the realm of arena-based combat, I got you a gift. This special figure is all yours. Congratulations! Commentator Waddle Dee the Coliseum is always ready for battles with brutal beasts, but no one was prepared when a mysterious vortex opened inside the arena. Commentator Waddle Dee was so scared that he almost shut everything down, but his curiosity won in the end. What wild, ba what wild battles await within? It's tournament time. To, congratulation, to congratulate you on surviving the brutal battles of the ultimate Cub Z, a new photo has been added to the wall of, uh, inside Kirby's house. As you clear different modes, new photos will be added to the wall inside Kirby's house. There are 10 photos in total. Play on and make a bunch of unforgettable memories. Try to reach 100% completion and become a master of all things Kirby. Trader Waddle Dee has arrived in town. If your collection is missing a figure, he'll trade you one of his own for a rare stone. Trade with him, or search this world's many stages and try to collect all 256 figures. A nice little uh, triumphant theme in town now. What are we up to? 97%. Hiya, Kirby. Listen, you've been collecting gacha machine figures, right? I've been admire, uh, admiring your collection. I just used the gacha machine and it gave me this figure that you don't have. So, would you trade me one of your rare stones for my gacha machine figure, Kirby? Let's do it. The Lone Illusion Phantom Meta Knight. The, Luna, the lone illusory foe that you encountered outside of Forgo Dreams, when Fecto Forgo tried to control Meta Knight like it, was, like it had King Dedede, the experienced swordsman came out on top through sheer force of will, but the result was this mysterious doppelganger formed by the residual psychic energy. If you ever, if you ever have a rare stone to spare, and feel like collecting more figures, well, I'll be here. I'm always ready to trade. So what are we up to now? 253. So that one that you have in your hand there is going to be 254. Um, 255 is probably going to be 
um, the cafe game. And I would guess the 256 is probably going to be getting everything else. Oh, oh, okay. What? You already got all the figures that are currently available? That's amazing. Well, all the same. Would you like to trade my figure for one of your rare stones anyway? Nope. Nice of you to tell me that. So what's left? I, I am honestly not sure what's left anymore. Yeah, nothing available. Oh man, I, I love this triumphant theme. Yes, yes, I know that. And then you're not going to give me anything else, are you? So I'm going to take a moment and uh, look up these last figures. So in volume one, so Cafe Staff Kirby is this one. Fishing Pond Kirby, Wise Waddle Dee, Delivery Waddle Dee, Cafe Staff Waddle Dee. So I guess just buying some stuff from the cafe. Yeah, purchase lots of items from the Waddle Dee Cafe. Buy car mouth cakes or Kirby burgers are the cheapest items on the menu. Usher Waddle Dee. Unlock every movie by clearing all stages in post game world, isolated aisles, then win all three cups of the Coliseum before visiting the cinema in Waddle Dee Town. Okay, so I need to go visit the cinema. Congratulations, Kirby! All the movies are now available in the cinema. To celebrate, we want you to have a special figure. Usher Waddle Dee. After the town was destroyed, this movie-loving Waddle Dee decided that the cinema needed to be rebuilt right away. Sure, food and shelter are important, but so are movies. As for his favorite movie, it probably has to be all of them. So yeah, we were missing two at the end there. One is the reveal of um, Chaos Alphalus, and one is the uh, defeat of Chaos Alphalus, which of course ends with Orb. So let's go buy some crap. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Nom nom nom. Uh, 
Uh, no, I want the burger. Uh, starting with dessert and then moving on to, to lunch. I probably need to get like three things. That usually tends to be the threshold. I have plenty of money to work with, so. I don't know why that's on a plate. But uh, you do you, I guess. Get one of each here. I guess I'll bring that one with me. And uh, I guess end with dessert. Because if it's not three, then it's probably five. Right? No? Well, another burger then. Keep him coming. Not sure where um, Alphalin is putting all these. I mean, we all know that Kirby is basically a bottomless hole, but uh, I don't know. Maybe Alphalin being a creature of chaos, he can just eat everything. Oh, there we go. Ding, order up. It's a special figure. I want you to have it. Thanks for being such a great customer. There it is. Cafe Staff Wobble D. This short order cook loves to feed his fellow Wobble Dees at the cafe in town. He even kept them fed after they crashed into in the new world. This cooking smelled so good, which is how the Beast Pack found them. Now that the cafe has been rebuilt, it's time to get to work. Clean up the table. And let's give this a couple more tries. No guarantees, though. We'll see how this goes. Because th this is also the last thing that Tyrion needs to do. Nope. Dirty burger. Too many mistakes too early. Ah! Uh. 
Uh, yeah, th this game is incredibly polite, except for this. This is the most impolite part of the game. They, like, they need to, like, nerf this a little bit. If I make a mistake in the first part, I'm just going to retry. Because I can't afford the penalty. Trying to say as much in the middle as I can. I feel like that's probably the best move. Because as long as I'm not moving incorrectly, it reduces, it reduces the number of moves that I need to make to the correct thing to two. And this is very not easy. I remember talking to, to Cess uh, a little bit um, about this game. And um, it was like, well, the, uh, the arena is something that we're probably not going to be able to finish. But um, this lunch rush thing. No! Two seconds left! Yeah, you can outgear that stuff real easy. But, um... Like, the, this lunch rush, like, is not something that my brain is really geared toward. But Cess has played a bunch of, like, time management games and, like, restaurant games and things like that. And so this wasn't too much of a problem for her. I mean, even out gearing the, uh, the fight, like even if you out gear, the final battle is no joke. Like, you have to be on your game. You have to know exactly, like, you have to know the fight. There we go.
Oh. <sighs> I'm going to go maximum another half hour. If I don't get it, I don't get it. But I feel like I can do it, given enough time. I definitely feel like I cannot make any mistakes. Like the moment I make any mistake at all, I'm just done. Because I need to build up the uh, the customer service meter so high during the first part of this. Ah, damn it. Urgh. So I'm trying to read ahead because it does it does at least give you an extra order like ahead of time during the rush. But reading ahead can also kind of trip you up. Nope. Let me try. Keep mixing up the burger and the and the tomato. Didn't make any mistakes, but I just wasn't fast enough that time. I like how they, they've carried over that failure theme from friggin' Kirby's Adventure. That has been around for a long time. Save too many of them. Frick. Ah. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how many you save. You could you could save 
the minimum 60 you can save 300. It's still going to be as, as violent of a lunch rush. And that there are two Maxim Tomatoes in a row there. That could have built the bar back up. Nope. Mm. That first part went real well, too. This first part's not going as well. And then I make a mistake. Fine, fine, fine. We got this. We got this. We gonna do it. Man, this is, this is, this is freaking tough, man. It's good, though. Gotta believe in the RNG. Just like Smash TV, right? Believe in the RNG. Believe in getting your order wrong. Again, mixing up the, the burger and the tomato. Believe in the heart of the RNG.
Oh, it's better to wait like an additional fraction of a second until you're sure. Because getting an order wrong is pretty much a death sentence. Yep. I hate hearing that sound and then failing. Fine though. Still got 15 minutes to do this. Nope. Yes! Mm. Ah! 100%! 100%! No wrong orders. 30 most consecutive orders. Crap customer satisfaction, but it doesn't matter. <sighs> Thanks for your hard work, Kirby. Hope you can help us out again soon. Kirby, may I speak with you for a sec? You're fired. You've been helping us a lot lately. It's a tough gig, but you even handle the frenzy like a pro. So, uh, we'd like for you to have this special figure. And our deepest thanks. Ready? Here it comes. Thanks. Cafe Staff Kirby. Kirby is taken on a side gig at the counter of the Waddle Dee Cafe. He is dressed like a focused employee, but he's secretly fighting the urge to gobble up each dish himself. This might he this might be his greatest struggle yet. Stay, stay strong, Kirby. Figures complete. As a bonus reward for collecting every figure, you will now hear special music playing over the collection screen. 100% clear. Yeah!
You know what? I'm snapping that. Two hundred and fifty six figures, three hundred bottle D's, three hundred soul pieces. The Coliseum finished. That's it. We've done everything this game has to offer. You know what? I know exactly how to send this off. Okay, maybe that was the wrong one. This is the one. All right, let's turn that back down for a second. Oh, let's enjoy that 100%. Love to see it. So this goes on my stack of Kirby games that I have fully cleared, and I'm quite happy with that. And that is going to put an end to this stream. And that is going to put an end to Kirby and Forgotten Land. And that is also going to put an end to Saturday streams for a little bit. Um, I don't really have anything else to play on Saturdays. Plus, doing streams on Saturdays has been kind of eating up my, my personal time. I've missed a couple of things because I have a stream on Saturday, so I would like to pull that back a little bit. Uh, so we're going to go back to streaming on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Sundays with also, you know, unscheduled, stream unscheduled streams whenever. 
Uh, I'm probably going to have an unscheduled stream at some point of um, ukulele to clean that up. Um, but uh, as far as the schedule goes, the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the return of the Code Creator stream where uh, we will be using Hacksplixel, uh, which is a uh, pro uh, programming language. Uh, well, Pax itself is a programming language, in particular programming language that was made to to uh, create dead cells, among a few other games. And um, I'm going to be using the Flixel library for hacks to make bumper stickers. I've tried making bumper stickers twice on stream now, and it hasn't worked out. But I feel like hacks Flixel is going to be the, exactly what I need to do what I'm looking to, to do. So that's going to be fun, I think, and uh, that's going to be tomorrow. Uh, the next stream after that is going to be our next Sunday Super Shuffle stream, where as long as there's no um, blocking bugs, we're going to be uh, upgrading to version 0 0.3.2 which adds two new games to the mix, and I think one new game might end up being played by one of our players. Not 100% sure, but we'll see what happens. And that brings us round the week, round the wheel, to our next uh, long run stream, where we're going to be starting a new game, and I'm not 100% sure what we are going to be playing. But it might be another adventure in a forgotten land. Problem is, I haven't actually finished that game yet, so it's going to be like half blind if I do that. I might do it anyway. We'll see. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you to everyone who's here. Thank you to. Um, Tyrion for the sub. Thank you to Ijigo Tamago and to Jewel. Your your company is always appreciated, Jewel and Tyrion and everybody. Um, so yeah, that was gonna do it for today. I'm Coolier if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.